Hello everybody, welcome back to Minecraft on the Block. This is the Taggarts. This is a Technic Pack series where we do a lot of work with mods. Um, the Industrial Craft, Red Power, Build Craft, Equivalent Exchange, and the like. And I'm sure that you guys were yelling in frustration last time at the screen when I was trying to get the uh, mass fabricator working. I was trying to set it right next to this and it's what's interesting is it was showing that it was powered. And but but this these these are not outputs. These this is all inputs. This is there's only one output from the uh, from the MFSU, and it comes out the back. So you can see that thing. I, this was actually up to uh, like two and a half million just about thirty seconds ago, and I threw the mass fabricator on there, uh, just kind of off of one of the branches off the output. And so now we're actually we're actually working correctly. So it's at 90%. What I was going to show you, this has been, uh, you can kind of just see, you can see the tick, see the countdown. We're almost 100. So we'll get there. That gives us one UU matter, okay? Now, if we were to pull out some scrap, we've got a decent amount of scrap. Uh, oh, I already have it. So we put the scrap down here, and we get this amplifier. You can see that it just goes much, much faster. And you need like 40-something of these to get all the way to 100%, I think. So we're going to stop a little bit short, I think. Maybe not. Yep. So you get the idea. The amplifier increases things drastically. So this is actually going to go rather quickly. We're going to get some UU matter and be able to make some uh, some quantum armor and whatnot. So this is things are going much, much better now. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to... I'm going to have to build another switch anyway. Let's do this. Let's uh, let's go ahead and build a switch because I have one of the switch that I have. The switches that I have are for there. We go. So we can pause that thing, and that'll let this thing recharge a little bit. All right, good to go. So let's go make sure. Anyway, so so we'll we'll do that. We'll get the mass fabricator going, but we want to run it with uh, we want to run it with scrap. And I have a little bit of extra scrap, but we need a bunch of scrap. So we need to get the quarry going again. I wanted to see if this thing, yeah, this thing is running on a near depleted uranium cell. So I want to replace that with a new one. Always keep what I what I do. I don't have this set up perfectly. You'll see that some of my cool. I mean, I, there there's a way to get this set up so that it won't it won't ever explode. But these currently are not ultra efficient. Some of these uh, some of these coolant cells. I need to make some more of these integrated heat dispensers and whatnot, and then put some of the whatever. You get the idea. We'll we'll deal with that more later. All right. So we are now back to a good state. I feel like. Um, got some dark matter going so we're working on our second block so this is turning this into a dark matter block and then it's going to turn both those into dark matter so we'll have three dark matter and i'm not sure what we can do with those oh also so i rebuilt my refinery my combustion engine everything that i need to get the quarry and the refinery going so i was going to do that and what i'll probably do took a lot of diamonds a lot of <laughs> a lot of obsidian kind of just re kind of getting back to normal you can see if you guys remember we've got our Nice. We've got our uh, crater in the ground over there from uh, from the little fiasco, so got to rebuild that. Um, I think what I'll do is probably pause real quick, um, bring up the morning, and then uh, we'll we'll go from there. I'm trying to think of what all I have to do. We're we're actually in pretty good shape now, so um, I think we can basically get back to quarrying and and all that stuff. I got to figure out how to keep these combustion engines from blowing up. So that's going to take a little bit more work. I know I can just put water in them, but it eats the water so quickly. So anyway, I'm sure you guys will have some thoughts on that. So um, I'm going to sleep real quick, get ready uh, to start doing some refinery work and some coring, and then I'll be back and show you guys what we're doing. All right, I'm back and I set up a new quarry or not a new quarry, a, uh, a new one of these. And I managed not to blow up that's interesting though. <laughs> I need my wrench. It's pumping the wrong direction. Just the kind of thing that I am known for. There we go. So, boom. 
now we should be pumping out into there there we go so I managed to set this up and uh, not blow up the engine yet so that's good I think it probably let's see yeah it's gonna need some fuel so put a door on it just in case creepers come <laughs> figured I might as well fill up uh, a little bit more of the oil real quick I'm not sure which blocks you can necessarily take. It's like some of these... Something to do with the... Uh, there was one. It's also, I think, a little bit hard to see because of the glitch with the... There's one. There's one. So let's do this. I'm going to fill that back up. Um, the heat seems to be okay on the engine. It's still still in good shape. I'm going to put, well, what I'm going to do, I think, is fill the, oh, well, it's only going to take one. That's too bad. I would like to, well, let's do this, take one out of there, put it in here, and then that oil, I guess I'll take that oil and use it to power the quarry engine kind of hoping to yeah because that makes that full so that's what we'll do we'll take takes well there's not enough fuel in there to even get a bucket yet. it's pumping it out as fast as it can make it which I guess is good all right well we'll just go with that then we'll just uh yeah we'll just go set up the quarry and we'll run it to start with off of some oil I know that's not ideal, but we don't have time. Don't have time to mess with it. So let's. There we go. Oh, you know what though? <laughs> I just realized what a dummy. What I really need to do is take some water with me. Can I put? Can I put fuel on top of this thing? No. Huh. All right. I'm gonna hang out for a second. Unless I wonder if I can dump oil back in the oil. Just out of curiosity. Nope. Oh, you can. Okay, good. Alright, I'm going to take two buckets of water with me. We're going to set up an endless water supply over by our oil, or over by our quarry, just in case we run into issues with the, with the engine. This thing is on green now, just for fun. Let's put some water in there. You can see that it well, I don't know what it's doing. Maybe it's, maybe it's doing all right. So I think it's good. All right. And we're good. Let's go. So we're going to go quarry basically back where we were. And just right next to it. We'll just... Uh, <laughs> we'll, keep, we'll keep close to the site one and site two is what I've started calling it. Site one will be the quarry site. And site two will be the... Uh, the refinery site and those will be the sites where we <laughs> where we had our first two major accidents industrial accidents we're gonna have to establish an OSHA equivalent so that we minimize those all right let's see I'm pretty excited that we're gonna be getting UU matter pretty soon and then we're gonna be getting quantum armor okay so if we were to think about this let's see one two three four five six seven eight I don't know what that means. I don't think. Ah, oh, screw it. What I'm going to do is set it up right about there. Actually, I wonder, can I take it down like that? Yeah, I can. I hope that worked. Yes. I want to set it up pretty close. I think it would be cool to have it like that. Bring it back just a touch. Like maybe, yeah, right there. <laughs> right there. Perfect. Now, one more forward. <laughs> I get a little OCD about this. You'd think I would pay a little more attention. There we go. That's perfect. All right. Let's throw down a motor. And get that running.
There we go. It'll start building, and while it's doing that, I'm going to put down put down my water supply right over here. <laughs> I've just not been on tonight. It's just a uh, it's just an off night for me. Let's see. As evidenced by the fact that I blew up <laughs> the two things that we endeavored to build over the last two episodes. All right, and then uh, hmm, what do I do with my chess? I think there they are. All right, once this thing starts rolling, we should be good. So we're basically back in business. So the whole this whole point of this was basically to get some junk. Um, junk material to throw in the recycler and try to get some scrap which will help speed up the UU matter and then if I can I think I basically need let's take a look real quick while this oops <laughs> while this thing's going if we want to make quantum armor we're gonna need let's see if we can find this in a reasonable amount of time there we go, quantum suit body armor. So let's start, let's say we just want the helmet because that thing lets us breathe underwater, I believe. We need two iridium plates, which means we need th four iridium ore, and I think we need four UU matter for each ore. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. We'll need 16 UU matter just for one iridium plate, is that right? So we'll need 32 iridium matter for a helmet. So that's quite a bit. So... We're going to have a lot of work to do. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of stuff going on. So we need rubber boots and yeah, and then a lot of them, a lot of it for boots. So we're going to need, I mean, 100, probably more than 100 um, UU matter to get all the iridium plates that we need for the quantum suit. But that's really my next, my next big goal is to get the quantum suit. That's going to be sweet. And once we have that, we're pretty much set. We're still, we're still really slow on dark matter production. I've got, I've, produced a total of what, three so far. I've used two of them for um, the gem of eternal density. I used, well, one of them is still sitting in the in the energy condenser. Um, and we've got two diamond blocks, actually one dark matter block, almost another dark matter block, and those will take a, quite a little while to turn into dark matter. So we'll have three. I'll figure out what to do with those. I really want to make some tools and stuff, but it just takes forever. So we'll have to figure out a way to speed that process up if it's even doable and I'm tempted to ride the water down and see what we got down there I think that's just gold we made it quite a ways down though before we blew up oh while we're here one thing I did want to do was just see what is this oh great That's frame. I don't know if you can even do anything with that. I don't know if that's like... I'll have to look into that. Oh, you can place it. So you can frame stuff out with it. I think you can make like cranes and crazy stuff like that. I think. I'm not sure. Alright, there's our buzzer. And we're just starting to quarry. So that's perfect timing. Alright. We're basically back where we were. <laughs> we're basically back to the beginning. So we are going to... Uh, we're gonna. We're just gonna try to try to reconstruct kind of where we were at. Get some material out of this. Try not to explode anything. And uh, yeah, I think we're well on our way to some quantum suits. So next time you see me, I'll probably have um, a lot of UU matter generated. Hopefully, at least be ready to make one piece of the quantum suit armor, and then uh, or quantum yeah whatever quantum suit armor. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. So anyway, appreciate you watching. Uh, tell your friends. Check me out on Twitter, MinecraftOTB on Twitter. And uh, thumbs up if you liked it. Talk to you soon.